a quick video if you're getting a flashing battery icon on your on your gauge here um, this is a 2004 player sportsman 400 that's either going to be caused by a overcharging or undercharging condition so you're gonna need a multi a multimeter here now I have one of these hooked up directly to the battery so the battery right now is reading 12.5 volts um, so when you start it here let's see Normally, charging voltage should be around 14.3 volts. You can see this is going way too high. 17.3, the battery flashing. So we're at the front of the machine now. We're gonna to need to take this apart to access the electrical components under the front hood. You have four bolts holding this rack on. It's a Torx bit, it's a T27. So you're gonna to need to take those out, pull the rack out. Your hood essentially clips in. Pull that out, there's, there's tabs on the top you need to pull out. And that pops out. Okay, so we're up front here. We're gonna be testing the AC voltage coming out of the stator assembly. The stator assembly has two yellow wires run up along the frame here in this loom and they come up here to the voltage regulator which is mounted to the frame I have it unmounted right now this is held in by a t27 two t27 bolts right so you're gonna need to unplug the yellow and the yellow and red wire they might be slightly different on your machine depending on what year um, so let's go ahead and do that so yellow unplugged yeah, we'll just unplug the whole thing and then don't forget this yellow and, and red wire also in the same loom unplug that hook up your meter to a good ground I use the ground at the coil here where it mounts to the frame hook your meter up positive side to the you know it doesn't matter we're going to do both of them uh, yellow and red and we're going to start the machine up and we should be getting around 20 to 30 uh, volts AC from each yellow wire of the three of them so let's go ahead and do that okay. looks good Swap it over. Sorry if this is shaking. Uh, test AC voltage out of this one, this wire. Good. And the third wire, you know, it should be the same because it's also tapped into the yellow and red one. This actually goes to your, your gauge. So I'll just check that real quick. What I also like to do is I like to test for continuity the ground while it's running. So we're gonna put this on ohms because test each three wire for short to ground. And I, I like to do this while it's running because I've run into situations before where there's a coil shorted on the stator and it actually vibrates. And sometimes it'll give you reading, sometimes it won't if the machine's running. So it kind of might, might throw off your readings. So this is looking good so far. No reading to ground. No reading to ground. So it's open. And no reading to ground. So the stator looks like it's good. And so that stator test is actually good for, you know, any year up through the 2000, mid 2000s uh, Polaris machines. But, you know, this is a 2004 and I think this is the last year they might have used an independent voltage regulator and rectifier uh, you know it's a 2005 and later they have a surefire it's called a surefire box where it mounts up here it's a big silver box where it contains your voltage regulator so if it comes to be that that's you know test the stator test is good you know, there's a good chance that that uh box is bad the sure power box now fortunately these older machines yeah they're independent with the regulator rectifier and what this does is 
takes that 30 volts and higher of AC, converts it to 12 volts DC, so it can charge your, your battery and everything, your machine, and this is a very common problem um, on Polaris machines that I found, where this goes bad. Um, you know, I, I'm going to show you, I bought, I bought a cap replacement one uh, off of eBay, this was, this was like 12 bucks or something like that. And usually, you know, you get what you pay for. Sometimes these are bad right out of the box. So you're, you're taking your chances buying these things for, for this cheap. You know, Polaris does have them, a newer version, where it doesn't even look like this. It's, you know, it mounts the same on the frame, but it's a, you know, updated design. And, you know, compare a $10 aftermarket one to a $130 Polaris part, you're better off buying the Polaris part. But uh, I'm going to show you uh, what happens when we switch out the bad one which this tested bad um I can even look at these if it's you know if the box itself has like a bulge like this does you can see a little crack and you can tell it got really hot you know that's a it's a good sign it's probably bad anyway um if you want to find the part number it's right over there for a replacement type that into amazon or ebay or whatever so I'll go ahead and plug that in, and then we'll go back and test the uh, the voltage with it running. So we're back here about a week later. Um, when I went to plug in the new $12 uh, eBay special voltage regulator, it did not work. Uh, the same symptoms, well, you know, the flashing battery light, the 18 volts charging rate. Um, so again, you get what you pay for. Those things are junk. Uh, what I did do was I went on eBay and found a regulator rectifier off a 2014 Yamaha YZ450F dirt bike. And it's higher quality, obviously. It's not this cheap plastic box. It actually has, uh, you know, cooling fins. And so basically I took, I cut off the old wires, the connectors from the old regulator and swap them over to this new one. Uh, you know, you're gonna go white and white to the stock yellow and yellow. It doesn't matter, you know, what side of the yellow goes on. Um, and then you just have the red, obviously, the red, the red. And this one has a black to brown. It's, it's the ground wire, uh, really easy to do. Um, you know, if you're doing something like this, obviously this is temporary, I just taped it up for now. You want to obviously make these waterproof, but um, yeah, this could uh, this should work pretty well. You know, you can you can mount it right up to the stock place, put a bolt through that, and you should be good. So we're gonna try that out right now. And I forgot to mention, you know, this used regulator cost me uh, I think it was like twenty dollars on eBay, and it came with the mounting bracket, so that was a good deal. Yeah, you can find these for pretty cheap used, so. All right, so we have our new updated regulator mounted to the frame here within the stock location. And again, you want to make sure all the stuff is waterproof. Um, even from the factory, this the red connector, that is not waterproof. Just That's directly, you know, from Polaris. So I would, I would tape all this stuff up, make it, you know, make it all waterproof, seal it up. But uh, let's see how we did and see if it's charging. So our battery voltage right now, 12.74. I'm gonna start it up and rev it, and it should hold around working fine uh, even at idle it's holding over 14 volts so that's perfect and I will leave a link in the description if you're looking to do this upgrade on what uh, regulator you should be searching for on eBay uh, but yeah hope this helps somebody you know if it did give me a give me a thumbs up